Hey guys, this is Collins, also known as the Disney Dude 99, and this is my first YouTube video. Uh, I created this a while back to hopefully upload some Disney Cruise videos, but as soon as I got back, my iPod, which I filmed them on, wiped out, and I've lost all my photos and videos, which makes me pretty sad. But anyway, this is my first YouTube video, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a light painting on your Nikon or Canon DSLR camera. Uh, I'm using my Nikon D3200 today as you can tell but the instructions that I'm going to be giving you are the same that you'll use on any other manufacturer of camera except in a different user interface than Nikon's obviously. So let's get started. First thing you obviously need to do is wait let me totally get this ready. Okay. First thing you'll obviously need to do is turn on your camera, make sure that the lens cap is off, and just like you're ready to take a picture. Then, once your screen turns on, locate this wheel of settings, and from wherever you left off, turn it to this M position. Uh, and this can only be found on DSLR cameras. So once you find M, make your screen come back up again and locate this little I don't know what to call it wheel thing and turn it back and forth just kinda fidget with it and you'll see that it changes this a number right there see it going back and forth that number is your shutter speed and what a shutter speed tells you is how fast it takes for the shutter to open and close and take in the image. So right here it is set at 1 25th of a second and here's what 1 that 1 25th of a second sounds like. If it'll take. Okay. So that's pretty fast. And for a light painting, it needs to be slower so it can take in all the uh, patterns of light that you will be making. So what I recommend you setting it to is to scroll back and make it this 10. So that means 10 seconds for the shutter to open close, which gives you 10 seconds to hit the button or hit the control, run away, and draw your light painting. Uh, some people, if you're doing more of a complex light painting, I'd recommend around 20 or 15. But if you're just doing something like drawing a smiley face to uh, just kill some time if you're bored, I'd say around 6 or 8 seconds. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Some tips that I'd give you is to make sure that your flash is not on because the only light that you want to be showing is your flashlight. Uh, and that's another thing, make sure that you are in a completely dark or uh, at least pretty dark room where there's very little to no light coming in, so the only light that the camera focuses on is your flashlight. Um, another thing that I would recommend is for zooms, uh, if you're 10 feet or less away from the camera, I'd recommend you zooming in to about 18 to 24 millimeters. Also using the starter um, lens that came with your camera, which for me is 18 to 55 millimeter. Um, but if you're 10 or more feet away, I'd recommend 35 or above. Uh, you may need to just see for yourself because every area is obviously different. And that is pretty much it. Uh, one last thing, I also recommend using a small... LED flashlight or lantern and that's my tutorial I hope that it helps uh, Miranda I hope this helps with your light painting and I just wanted to upload this because I would just forget to think about it at photography club and I hope it helps anyone else who's watching this video don't forget to like this subscribe and share it anywhere you think it would be needed uh, this was a fun first video, and I can't wait to make many more. So, this is the Disney Dude 99 signing out.